two men, one just a heartbeat away from being the leader of the free world. We saw the presidential debate last week, and now it's time for the vice presidential candidates to face off. Preparations already underway for tomorrow's debate at Longwood University in Farmville, Virginia. 41 Action News anchor Mike Maruzar is also my husband, of course. He's there with another debate that's already going on. Generals for the North and South crossed this campus just days before the end of the Civil War. Longwood, one of the oldest universities in the country, tomorrow will host perhaps one of the most important conversations of this campaign. Before the spotlight hits campus, it all comes down to where you think life begins. We spotted a debate already underway. I believe in the woman's right to choose. She heads the young college Republicans. I would feel safer knowing that they are on campus with a gun. See, that's where I disagree, and I think that when you add more guns, statistics show the more guns that are prevalent, the more gun accidents you're going to have. He heads the young college Democrats. They don't need a national stage to debate. I think the biggest most positive out or impact of this debate has been getting the political conversation started on campus. Melita is a senior, Joe a sophomore. He's built his his industry off of the backs of the little man and that has given nothing back to them. You know, this is the the opposite of this spectrum is Hillary Clinton, the lady that left four people to die in Benghazi and lied to their families about it. Both hope to serve in Congress in the future, but for now they'll settle for a front row seat to history. Hoping that they'll discuss actual issues and policy and um, not throw, constantly throwing jabs at each other is what I'm looking forward to. Uh, I would say al along the same lines. I think Mike Pence and Tim Kaine are both uh, honorable men. Classes are canceled here on campus so that students can attend debate-centered activities, all of it to witness history. In Farmville, Virginia, Mike Maruzar's 41 Action News.